Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And the 3 8 inch drive ratchet really does seem to be a sweet spot. It's a great interface between what a human hand and arm is capable of and the strength of uh, both the fastener and the tool. Sure, you can go down to quarter inch, still outstanding. Quarter inch drive stuff is wonderful. Usually you want small things, even though quarter inch socket sets often go up to 15 millimeters and you can get them even larger than that. But the quarter inch, uh, it's, well, it's a little piece of metal. Jumping up to a 3 8 gives you a lot more peace of mind and you can run things, uh, run sockets up much larger and have li little concern about breaking something. Um, of course, you could jump up to half inch, but everything with half inch gets bigger if it's worth its, its salt as a heavy duty tool. It just simply gets large because you've got the ability to put so much force onto such a small area. Um, at just even a standard ratchet. You can see the head size difference here as we say go down to quarter inch, except not everything small is a quarter inch. And I got this one uh, a while ago. It's a wonderful, this, you can actually get this from Snap-on versus you know manufacturing your own version, but that's where the head came from. But if you notice this, this is a full size anvil means that the same force I could put on something, well, even this big, I can put on this little guy here. So I've often wondered, you know, is that gonna hold up? This one I wasn't too worried because I simply, unless I put a cheater pipe on it, I simply didn't have enough hand on this thing to generate the force probably to break it. This one, I have a little bit better chance, but still this one I wondered about this uh, snap-on round head, because round heads, even though they are very strong, um, you know, it's sometimes the connection here, but it, you don't notice anything different about the design as far as where it holds the socket. However, that does change here. This is a, uh, a small head, multi-position ratchet uh, in a 3.8. Here is the quarter inch version, and I, I love this little quarter inch one, just wonderful, acts as a spinner too, so you can, you know, zip things on and then cinch them down or, you know, uh, unwind them pretty easily. Well, this is a quarter inch head size. They do make a larger one, but this is the quarter inch head size, and they've engineered a weakness into it. If you can see that right there, there is a very significant taper basically dropping this 3 8 anvil down to roughly a quarter inch size as it goes into the ratcheting mechanism, meaning there's a deliberate shear point or engineered failure point on the anvil, so that's where it snaps off, hopefully before it breaks something a little bit more expensive or harder to fix or replace, meaning the multi-position head or possibly something inside here uh, that isn't just you in the service kit. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, where, uh, where, I, where this comes into play um, is that there is a larger version of the multi-position ratchet that comes in a larger head, kind of the standard head here, uh, standard 3 8 head size. And if you go to the Snap-on website and, and read about the, the full-size multi-position head. So it's one of these heads that swings around, but it's in the full size here. They recommend it for engine start bolts, alternating bolts, exhaust systems, um, exhaust fans, drivetrain, transfer case bolts, rear differential, uh, suspension systems, brake caliper bolts, and the steering knuckle. When you go to the website listing for what do you do with this, crickets. It's not going to say all those things because it's probably not designed for that. Instead, what it's designed for is when you need a much smaller, much more nimble head on a 3 8 ratchet with, um, without the upper end in the, the strength. So I found that kind of interesting, and I hope Snap-on uh, sells these anvils separately. I'm going to check into that because I wouldn't mind swapping out some of my other small 3 8 um, with a, an anvil that would snap off um, simply because it's going to be a lot easier to fix that than to, uh, or then if I mess up the whole ratchet. 
Um, I'm going to be doing more with 3 8 ratchets. I've got a couple of them. I like the small ones, but I do think it's, uh, it's a sweet spot. And as I build out my overlanding kit for this summer, I'm going to mostly go 3 8 uh, I've done that in the past, but I'm probably going to supplement it with uh, small 3 8 stuff um, because I can I don't gain much benefit by going with a quarter if my 3 8 is the same size and I can get some really low profile 3 8 sockets so to me that's a win-win and I've got plenty of tiny 3 8 drivers here 3 8 uh, ratchets but anyway if you've got other other examples of that where it's so clear where you can see a definite engineered failure point deliberate um, on one of these kinds of hand tools, let me know. And with that, dock out.